Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today I'm here at Thorpe Park to check out their new attraction for 2021. It's the Black Mirror Labyrinth. And of course, you can see the entrance to the attraction just here behind me. So yes, today is the VIP preview event for this new attraction, meaning that I'm gonna be able to take you inside and share with you the experience. So be prepared, there is gonna be quite a lot of spoilers throughout this video. And of course, I'll share my thoughts afterwards with a nice in-depth review of the Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now, of course, it is all based on the TV series that I've not actually seen. However, I do know that it's very popular. I'll have to watch it at some point in the future. Uh, but I've been told from a few people that you don't need to exactly know what the TV series is all about to be able to enjoy the attraction. So come and join me here at Thorpe Park. Like I said, we're gonna be able to film inside, share the experience with you. And I'm going in here, not really knowing exactly what to expect. Some sort of mirror maze, possibly with special effects in there. Um, from looking into it a little bit, it seems like, you know, there's gonna be a lot of technology involved projections, air cannons, maybe some smoke blast, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I know there's no actors inside here. It's not a scare maze. It's a walkthrough attraction. Um, but yeah, I, I imagine there's going to be a lot of like uh, technology and automated sets and design in there. I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly what it's going to be like. So come and join me. Let's head down the queue line into the entrance of Black Mirror Labyrinth. New for 2021 here at Fort Park. Right then, so just before we enter the queue line, just thought I'd show you the restrictions board out here at the front. Give you a bit of information at the top. So yeah, it says, immerse yourself in the labyrinth, a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual technology and sensory defying environments. Will you keep your grip on reality or will you get lost in the mainframe as this unpredictable digitized dimension reveals an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces your very existence? Ooh, sounds very mysterious. And of course you've got the restrictions here, minimum age of 13. So yeah, let's go and uh, join the queue line. It's actually using the Slammer's former queue line around here. Um, as you can see, that's the Slammer, the flat ride that closed a few years ago. I must say, loving the soundtrack, it was actually produced by I'm a Score, of course, they do a lot of the theme park soundtracks. And that plays all the queue line here. It doesn't look like there's any theming, but there's a few actors about here in the queue line. Right then, so I've just come down the queue line for Black Mirror Labyrinth. You've got some of the characters out as well, which is always good to see. Here we are down at the entrance. Hello. <laughs> so of course we've got the participant registration that's gonna be taking place. So you've got to step forward when called, have your photo taken, then move to the touch screen, click on your photo, enter your details there, accept the terms and conditions, step aside for the next participants, and of course in you go. So yeah, looking forward to this. Here's the, uh, the entrance just here. And like I say, you've got all the theming up here at the top and the nice sign up there that looks awesome. Down here now then at the entrance to Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now she wants to delete you. 
options in there.
is the big finale, I think. Oh, that's a cool effect. Game over. You have been there we go, that's the Black Mirror Labyrinth. So you've just joined me there for my first ever run through of Black Mirror Labyrinth here at Thorpe Park. It's new for 2021 and like I say I've never seen the TV series before so I went in there not knowing what to expect other than the fact that I knew it was going to be quite mysterious and very modern with some of these special effects inside there and I've had two run throughs of it. I always like to do that because you never know you miss things when you just go through once. It's nice to have a couple of run throughs to really get to appreciate it and with that attraction there's so much more going on in there than what I was originally expecting. Um, with the attraction of course um, at the start with them taking your photo it means that it's fully interactive which is quite nice it comes up with your photo throughout even though you're not allowed to smile and my photo was absolutely terrible that's a great little feature how you take your photo at the start um, you can take your mask off for the photo as well and then of course that uh, is implemented into the attraction and then of course you go through the first few rooms uh, that feature some brilliant visuals in there with all the projections I really liked the face all the wires coming out the technology of course kind of taking over in there uh, and then of course you go through lots of different doors and the fear flaps that are hanging down throughout the attraction and it was very mysterious you didn't know what was going to happen in the next room and it was very well thought out in terms of um, you know you stand on a spot of course I went through there on my own because of social distancing normally you'd be in there as a full group and if you come into Thorpe Park as a group of you of course you can all go in there together um, but yeah you know you stand on a spot and then all your different photos will come up from your group which would be quite cool uh, but yeah it was really well thought out with the fact that you know you've got the little stopping areas it does stop people running into each other throughout the attraction of course um, you later go into a mirror maze and I thought with that oh hang on a minute are we going to start am I going to bump into the people in front are they going to bump into me behind that wasn't the case because I think it's a 90 second delay from what I could work out between groups going in so of course it meant that you know you're not going to um, you're not going to bump into anybody else anyway which is good and then part way through the mirror maze you got like the little stop scene before the finale so it means that only you or your group will be in that finale um, which is good because again I think that would ruin the experience if you bumped into somebody else for that but you know what I really enjoyed it considering I was only expecting a very basic kind of mirror maze if you like um, and don't get me wrong I'd say it's a glorified mirror maze with a lot of great special effects a fantastic soundtrack there's no actors um, inside there uh, but I don't think it needs any I, I enjoyed it it was certainly a lot better than what I thought it was just under nine minutes for my walkthrough again it all depends on if you're getting lost in there and there is dead ends I wasn't expecting that I thought it might be a, um, a kind of set route I know it's called the labyrinth but I really didn't think that actually have it that you could get lost in there but you can and that really adds to it but the technology was brilliant with the projections uh, the audio in there was great lots of fantastic lighting and a few little jump scares I like how my favorite section was actually of course when you're in the mirror maze itself because the LED strip lighting looked amazing and also every so often um, as you're walking around the mirrors would shatter of course it was a screen behind there but that looked really good as an effect uh, and then along with that as well um, towards the end you had the air cannon that went off so that was quite a good uh, jump scare and love the finale the fact that um, you know all the mirrors at the side it tells you to turn and face the mirror and they all shatter down at the side all using screens and technology Thought Park have done a good job with it um, you know what I, it's certainly a lot better than what I was expecting um, like I say it's a mirror maze that's got a lot more to it than you would initially expect and yeah I really enjoyed it um, Charlotte's going to be coming down here to Thought Park we're going to be filming a vlog that will be coming up in the next couple of days here on the channel that will be coming at the weekend so of course we'll get to hear Charlotte's reactions to it as well uh, but I just want to say a big thanks to Thought Park for inviting me down here today to come and, uh, and preview it unfortunately Charlotte couldn't make it today but she's going to be down here in the next couple of days with me and we'll be filming a vlog and of course sharing her thoughts on it but I'd give it a good 7 out of 10 the technology is great it's better than I thought my one negative is the throughput of it uh, you've got to think it's one group every 90 seconds I believe um, for what it could work out and you've got to think you know it's going to get quite big queues I managed to get two run throughs of it waited 40 minutes for one run through but it is going to be time tickets I believe from when it opens to the public from tomorrow so um, yeah it is worth pointing out you do wait quite a while but again once social distancing can end and they can get more people in the groups then yeah you know it will move a lot quicker but overall good event by Thought Park they provided fast track for us 
down here today, some food as well, which is really kind of them. And uh, so yeah, just want to say a big thank you here to the team at Thorpe Park, having us down here and of course getting uh, footage from inside. It's always great when these uh, parks do these events, of course, when we can film inside and take you along. And it makes it so much better to review it and actually show you what it's like. And if you're coming down here to Thorpe Park this year, enjoy Black Mirror Labyrinth. I certainly enjoyed it. It was better than what I was expecting. Don't get me wrong, it's not like a world-class attraction, uh, but it's a good attraction here for Thorpe Park. I'm just really hoping we're going to see an actual ride installation down here at this park in the next couple of years, because I really feel like that's needed now to help freshen up the lineup. But uh, there you go. Thanks for joining me here on Theme Park Worldwide. We're going to be covering the other changes, of course, such as some improvements to Darren Brown's Ghost Train, uh, getting back on the Walking Dead the ride, and Charlotte's first trip to Thorpe Park. That'll be coming up in the vlog this weekend. So stay tuned for it here on Theme Park Worldwide. That leaves me one final thing to say. Get down here, check out Black Mirror Labyrinth, and get out there and keep on riding. See you soon.